The AgriEpi Southwest Dairy Development Centre uses the latest innovations to achieve sustainable and efficient milk production whilst maintaining high cow health and welfare. The unit was built around six years ago with sponsorship from Galebreaker. Recently, in 2023, various new features were added to advance the use of automation and technology within the building. The unit also holds a selection of ventilation and weather protection products, which maximise air flow and air quality whilst providing protection during the winter months. These features are part of what makes the Southwest Dairy Development Centre a state-of-art research and development facility, which demonstrates ways of optimising herd productivity. Alongside its research purposes, the unit operates as a commercial farm, supplying milk to local processors. A 180 cow herd is managed here, and the building differs from what we might see traditionally within the industry. The translucent material covered roof allows full and even natural lighting across the building. The 5 metre high arches aid air movement and in combination with the two Galebreaker variable ventilation systems, this structure provides optimal ventilation throughout the building. Today we're here with Duncan Forbes, Dairy Product Specialist for AgriEpi. We're going to be using smoke tests to assess the air movement throughout this building. The theory behind this design is that the buoyant hot air will rise upwards and sit within the arches of the roof. When the cool wind blows through, it will pass underneath the hot air and cross-ventilate the building. This is demonstrated in the smoke test when the VVS is open. The VVS is controlled by the VentLogic i-series system. This system uses sensors to monitor the external conditions on the farm. In adverse weather, the curtains will automatically close to protect the internal environment. We wanted to see how well the building would ventilate under these conditions with the curtains shut. The smoke slowly rises and then it sits beneath these arches of hot air, eventually being drawn out through the end of the building. So although it's not immediately exhausted, the high arches allow the hot, dirty air to be kept up high away from the castle. So this represents the air movement that would take place inside the building on a still day where there's little wind. Or in a compromised area of the building, such as here where the offices and viewing platform is blocking the prevailing wind. And in this case, it may be beneficial to look at adding mechanical ventilation products, such as the VentTube Cool. This would ensure high-speed air is delivered at all times, helping to mitigate heat stress. I-series sensors are also placed within the building at various locations. These monitor internal conditions, helping to advance the control of our VVS, as well as providing accurate data collection. Through the collection of temperature and humidity data, we are able to calculate the THI values within the building. THI refers to the Temperature Humidity Index and is a measure to indicate the level of discomfort cows experience through the combination effects of temperature and humidity. We can create heat maps with the calculated THI values, which provide a visual graphic to show the amount of hours per day each area has spent within a certain THI threshold. Periods of sustained heat are highlighted. In these areas, cows are likely to be displaying signs of heat stress. The facility also makes use of other Galebreaker products. Base screens and agri doors allow controlled airflow into the building but also provide protection in adverse weather. Different meshes can be used for these depending on the individual farm's needs.